Moving on, it's 846. We're going to talk about the UAE probing uh, of an 11 year old Emirati girl on a kids' show. So, the UAE Media Council, this was announced yesterday, is investigating a bullying incident involving an 11 year old Emirati girl during the filming of a children's program. Well, the UAE Media Council released a statement that said it will not allow the display of any content that violates the media content standards and stipulated in the media regulation law. Or Or the laws related to child protection in the country. So uh, they're acting fast. They are now working with the girl's family to understand exactly what happened. And from there, they will move forward with the next steps. Um, so this was announced in the last uh, 12 hours. Um, we haven't seen the footage, uh, but it's great to know that the UE Media Council is acting on this. I think anything, when you hear about children and bullying, um, it just it just tugs on little heartstring, doesn't it? You think yes. of I think of my nieces and my nephews, and, and you think of maybe situations that we went through in our lives when we were younger, Um, that we might have had to overcome, even if it's small things, True. like teeny tiny things, which we may not even consider to be bullying per se, but hardships of when you were excluded or when you were left out from a moment and you mm-hmm. hear maybe your niece and your nephew who's going through something and you just, it's just, you just want the kids to be okay. So I'm so glad that mm-hmm. Media Council is acting on this. Really, it is heartbreaking because you know what, when a kid, to a kid, maybe every little thing can count, you know what I mean? Like maybe to an adult uh, saying something might not be as big. Or maybe, okay, fine, Let, let's forget the adult, right? Like actually, two kids, everything counts. And bullying should never be accepted at all sorts in, in any um, shape or form. Because kids really are very sensitive and they are very fragile in a way. Mm. And uh, what really bothers me is that there are a lot of initiatives and a lot at schools all around um, where uh, anti-bullying campaigns do happen. However, it still is around. You know, we, we, we do see it um, very subtly, but it still is around. And sadly, many, many people do think like, oh, she didn't get bullied. Because in their head, that bullying is like, oh, uh, only if really mean words are being said, mean yeah. unacceptable words are being said. But sometimes even maybe Um, not a mean word, maybe sometimes um, a, a comment. But like being left out, like that's so yes. true because if you ask me if I got bullied and like what was my childhood like, I'd always say no, like absolutely not. I was so lucky, I had so, so many great friends. But if you, um, when I think about, there was definitely moments when I was younger where I felt left out, you know, you know, cry going to sleep. I remember once I was sitting outside uh, my school And my mum had gone in to speak to the teacher and maybe I went in after her and I'd left my lunchbox outside. And maybe I told the story before and I came back and uh, there was two kids there and I knew something had happened. You know, when you just have this like yeah. sense of like, maybe they were pointing or giggling or something like I knew and I picked up my lunchbox, got into the car, opened it. They'd put a hairy molly <gasps> into my sandwich, a hairy molly caterpillar. Oh. The meanies, you know, Harry Molly, the, the black and yellow squiggly things. Oh my god! I'm yeah, so I don't remember being too upset about it, but I just remember it happened to being like, I, I don't actually, yeah. But those like little things that like they're so small, really. It's oh, not bullying, but it's that, just kids being mean, and you don't want it to happen to your, to your child. kids, your nieces and nephews. Yeah. Well, actually, on the contrary, I was very like, if someone's mean to me, I'll be mean to them. I remember <laughs> my mom would like braid my hair. And I had my hair like on the desk of um, a friend and he was really annoying. I still remember his name. So he would like all the time, like, you know, take my braids out of his way. And I didn't understand that my braids getting into like getting on his notebook and not allowing him to write the notes that he needed to write. So I would like he would like remove my hair and I'd put it back. And then later on, he got like a white paper and filled it all with white ink corrector. white ink and then he's like farah farah and I looked and he put it in my face and I had I remember glitter <laughs> and I'm like you know I went cried washed it oh! off but I took revenge I got <laughs> a paper filled with glitter because he was a boy right so like he's not gonna like glitter I filled it with glitter and I said his name and I put it in his face and I felt like yeah like we don't condone violence but yeah, <laughs> yeah no, right. oh my god what yeah. a mean Literally. Okay, but you got your, you, you got his couple. Yeah. You know what? I think 
there, I have no idea what type of advice to give to a child yeah. in that situation. If Farah came home and that had happened, would I say to <laughs> turn around? So we are going to try and have a psychologist who is able to have this conversation in on the show this week. So what to do if your child is being bullied? Um, do you fight back? <laughs> Or are words the better step forward? Um, speaking of words and communication, we're so excited uh, for our next guest, Noor of the very popular 